Okay, so you see, um, this is very interesting um, from what we are saying now, but you need to really pay very good attention now because, as I was telling you before, uh, if you look at this now, how would you actually identify the major structures here? The major structure, because if you look at this, we have one, two, three, four, which was actually interpreted from aeromagnetic, and the ground magnetic are the black ones, the black ones that were actually interpreted. Now, here you can see some coincidence in all that. Um, coincidence of ground magnetic and that of aeromagnetic here, you can also see it around here. You understand? But if you look at some of the deep seated structures, well, they're actually um, are picked up by a ground magnetic. Now, if, if, you, if you look at this, you can see the northeastern parallel structures. So, how do we now um, identify what is fault here? Is it just bricks, just a boundary, or some liturgical, uh, what we can call some liturgical uh, boundaries? How do we actually identify that? The red ones are the IP anomalies, you know? The IP sections are actually carried out. So the IP anomalies are actually seen here, the IP anomalies. And the this one, the purple one here, are the VLF anomalies, you see? That is here. And if you go down here, there are some coincidence of VLF and IP anomaly and some areas where they are, they are showing some signals, you know, for gold mineralization, which is the, the yellow dots. Now, there is something interesting you need to look at here for you to understand the, the efficacy of some of the methods and why integrating them are very, very important. Okay, look at here. If you look at the IP anomalies here, you can see that the IP anomalies followed a northwest eastern uh, structures. Actually, this is actually that is actually what is in it, it de detecting here. It detected it here, detected here and here. So if you look at this, it's actually uh, mapping out these uh, northwest structures. And now this structure, two things are important here. These structures might actually not containing the rail or what we're actually looking for because it mapped it exactly on top of all of them and there is a kind of a sharing around here intersecting and uh, um, cross cross cutting kind of um, geological structures here some is not south this is actually not east and you have a network all actually intersecting here so you can see an, a clear coincidence of ip anomaly within here and here too so definitely this is being influenced by the northwest but something interesting now, why didn't the IP anomaly continued here? You see, so that's why you marry because you marry some of these um, integrate some of these data. Because if you look at here, you will see that um, the IP anomaly didn't continue here. Rather, it moved to this direction here. Why? Now, that is one question. It's supposed it's assumed that it's supposed to have continued here, or seen somewhere here, or seen someone here. But here, it stopped here. That is one thing. Now it moved toward this direction. Note that. Then another thing you would see is if they are moved to this direction, you start asking, is this actually faulted? Is it a fault? You know, is this actually a fault? Do you have a, a major fault around here? You see? Now, if you look at here, there's a coincidence here. There are no doubt, there's no issue here. This can form a boundary, a kind of a liturgical boundary and all that but bringing the geochemical uh, some of the geochemical uh, map we've done you will see something unique here okay let's use sulfur okay interesting now look at the geochemical map in here now if you look at this is actually going north south here is going north south here is going north south but along here, there's a shift here when it gets to this particular point. It shifted this way. Now, there's an, an, another anomaly going north-south here. But along here, it shifted here. When it gets after this boundary, it didn't continue on this direction. It shifted on this direction. Are you seeing it here? Now, it's only when, look at this, there is also north-south. When it got here, it cuts off around here and continued around here. So, that will tell you that definitely this is fault. It's a fault. It's a fault line. You understand? It's actually the major controlling factor here. And apart from this, 
the fault line, there's the, a, a very strong uh, um, analytical signals around here. Okay. Now, if you want to use this, uh, let's use another one. Let's possibly use aluminium. Uh, I need to see something that is well distributed. Um, okay. Let's use this. Wow. You see? Look at this again. This continued here. Here, it shifted here. You see anomaly along here, anomaly along here. But you don't see it along here again. It shifted to this, along this location. The same thing. When this gets to here, it stops entirely. It didn't go up here. It stops. Are you seeing it? So there's a possibility. This is actually telling you that this block, this actually is faulted. It shifted this way and this moved this way. Because if you move this way, actually most of these things can actually align. So let's use another one here. Maybe we use um, a TI here. Did we use TI here? Okay, we use TI here. And we'll see what it looks like here. Wow, we see another thing here. This anomaly dropped here. It didn't cross over. When it crossed over here, it didn't continue on this line. It shifted to this line. Look at this. This dropped here. It didn't continue. There is no much thing around here. The same thing. So you see there is, a, you know, the geochemical, soil geochemical mapping also can interestingly detect, you know, they follow boundaries. And they can also even um, tell you about, um, uh, fault zone this actually happened very very down there but you can see that on the suffix there's some clear a kind of signatures um uh, uh footprint and some expressions that are actually seen on the suffix so this is it now look at another interesting thing another interesting thing here if you look at the vlf the vlf anomalies it continued on this line but after this line it moved all moved moved to, the, to this particular, <laughs> this direction. Are you seeing it? Why was there no, there is no, and within here, there is no VLF anomaly, there is no IP anomaly, and there is no geochemical anomaly within here. That will tell you that as a very clear, very, very clear indication that this block is actually faulted. So um, that is the sense of integrity of this data to be able to uh, detect your fault zone and see where it can influence your mineralization. So there are no, no doubt that this is an interesting uh, location based on, um, on this integration. So you can ask more questions.